Yesterday you were talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. How can we be sure that he really is a genuine messenger of Allah? Because it says in the Quran, duh. Okay, apart from that it says in the Quran, how else can we be sure? So when you're a scientist, as this one in YouTube say to you that the earth is flat because the Quran says so, don't be fool and believe him. مليونين و400 الف كيلومتر الارقام no this is all is a joke right you know but for muslims it's something serious they believe in this garbage you know and all of us we knew how big is the sun and how small is the moon okay تحدث هذه الظواهر والارض غير كرويه على حد تعبيرك الشمس بالنسبه لها هي اللي تدور حول الارض لانها هي الاصغر من الارض بموجب الايات القرانيه. See, the sun is smaller than the earth as the Quran say. <laughs> انت هل يوم من الايام رايت الشمس كيف تتحرك؟ No. انا رايتها تتحرك. He see it. See? تتحرك الشمس حركه واحده في كل 24 ساعه. لأنه أنا لما أحكي أحكي على العلم القرآني هو يحكي لي على العلم اللي أنا رافضه أساسا وهو علم وهو العلم الحديث. Because see, no, no, exactly. We know we can, science can only tell us what happens in the universe, not what happens outside of the universe. Because we. أن أن محمدا محمدا ورسول ورسول. So repeat after me, inshallah. Ashhadu, shalaihi, wa ashhadu, wa ashhadu, Allah. This I bear witness. I bear witness that there is that there is no God. No God. This means I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. Muhammadan, Abduhu, 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 for a soul. You're Muslim. There you go. See, when you do that, God forgives all of your sins. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm here with Brother Stephen, who has just accepted Islam. Brother Stephen, congratulations. You have just joined the biggest family on earth. How does it feel? It's great. It feels great. And can I ask, what were the reasons that uh, you found Islam appealing, that you decided to accept Islam today? Adu, An. An la la ilaha ilaha Yesterday you were talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. How can we be sure that he really is a genuine messenger of Allah? Because it says in the Quran, duh. Okay, apart from that it says in the Quran, how else can we be sure? Well, uh, it was a man who yeah. a book. Yeah. Um, that book is about the hundred like best people uh -huh. in the world uh -huh. and you know who was first? No. Muhammad. Really? Yeah. So this man, do you know his name? Muhammad. No, the man who wrote the book. No, not really. Okay. Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. As you see in the screen, you know, the obsession of Muslims with their Mecca and their Kaaba and the craziness of Islam is unlimited. Muslims call to adopt Mecca time. This is BBC News. Muslims scientists, you know, listen carefully, scientists and the cleric have called for the adoption of Mecca time to replace GMT. You know, the Muslims, they are trying, working hard. You know, like, you know, imagine the Muslims, they are the most weak nation ever. But if you, if you, if you listen to them, you know, those people they believe they are the one is controlling this earth they are the one who is who, who do anything he want they want you to make your time by Mecca time listen 
أنه جنة عرضها السماوات والأرض فهذه دللت على أنه الأرض هي مسطحة يسيد why he saying that he just told you because the Quran saying that anyway you can go and search in the in, in YouTube the earth is the earth is a flat video and or Iraqi TV debate you know the earth is a flat as you see and you can watch the video by yourself but what is the most important for us to know why Muslims they think that Mecca is the center of the earth because they believe that the earth is a flat now all of us we knew that the Muslims they pray to the direction of Mecca and there is no way really to pray to Mecca unless which means as a direction unless you live in a flat earth because if I leave if I live in this side of the earth or the other side of the earth how I'm going to hit the direction of Mecca because if I'm living here if I go toward Mecca my straight line is going to be hitting the sky I cannot I cannot hit uh, Mecca no way so where is my prayer is going you know my prayer will not go in a curve my prayer is not a missile so my direction cannot be a missile my direction is a straight direction so how I can pray to Mecca the only way as we said before to pray to Mecca if you live in USA down there you know on the other side of the earth if you put your head in the twilight seat and your legs is up then you are really praying to the direction of Mecca otherwise you are not so because they think that you know the, the, the earth is a flat they think you can have Mecca as the center of the earth now if you look at Mecca, Mecca is, 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 is it's not even a village you know we are looking at Mecca today after the oil Mecca not long time ago just 50 years ago nobody lived there it's a dead place nothing green in there it's a, you know it's, 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 a, it's a rocky uh, 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 a place dead earth no water no uh, irrigation no uh, 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 no farming nothing there's nothing in this city and this is why Muhammad he decided to change the direction of prayer from the city of Jerusalem to the city of Mecca because after he killed all the Jewish and the Christians in the city of uh, Mecca business went down because Muslims they don't they do nothing they don't know what to do they have nothing to do with business there are people who live by attacking others, taking their money off. It's a Bedouin life. You can go and search about Bedouin life. This is what they do. They grow some animal, and when they get some power, they go and attack everybody around them. Now, this is the city of Mecca. This is, you know, this is a dead city in the middle of nowhere. If we can call it city, even you know, no Muslims want to make it uh, the center of the earth. Why? Because of their obsession with the with the religion of Islam. This city even hardly, you know, guys in there. If you go and live there, uh, if the electricity go out in this city, thousands of children will die because they are not used to the heat no more. You know, there are people in old days. They used to have different different way to to, uh, to to work it out. Today, people of Saudi Arabia after the oil revolution, everybody have an air condition in his house. Everybody, you know, and the city growing too much to handle what you know. The water in there cannot you know you cannot have water if there's no electricity. Because all the water is coming to them by you know pump machine it's not really something they don't have a river they don't have lakes they don't have anything so electricity is their life if there is no electricity the city will die the heat is extreme the heat you know if you like you heard about Nevada Nevada is a spring compare if you want to compare it to Mecca Mecca is a very very hot place in summer it's even hot even in, in winter time it's very hot still this is why you see the Muslims 
or people who used to worship around the Kaaba even before Islam they used to walk walk naked around the Kaaba they are totally naked and they used to practice their sexual you know religion which Islam adopt from those old people before Islam and until now the Muslims when they go around the Kaaba they still wear that sheet practicing that kind of part of sexual religion was exist before Islam but the point in here that the Muslims they don't want to use their brain and by the way you know I know this is all will never happen like you know who, who is going to take the, the time of Mecca like who care about this even you know this is the foolishness of Muslims but we are just trying to show you how ignorant they are the only way to have a real physical center of the earth if you go inside the magma in the top of the earth the earth is not a flat Muslims listen to me believe me this is a fact Hello, wake up, your Quran is false. The only way to have a center of the earth, if you go and take your Mecca and push it inside the earth, inside the magma, then when your city Mecca is melted inside the magma, then you can say to me, you know what? Now we have Mecca as the center of the earth. So when your scientist as this one in YouTube say to you that the earth is a flat because the Quran says so don't be fool and believe him 